So, friends, do you want to see the trailer reel from 1971 to 1982? Oh, of course. My eyes wanted to see the trailer reel from 1971 to 1982. Play it. Yeah, you heard what Cappy said, Kirby. Play the trailers right now, dude. Alright then. Watch the movie trailers from 1971 to 1982, boys. I'm really serious when you tell me your hobby is looking at naked women. I have an urge which you might call lascivious. Controllable, but it's an urge. I've always had it. Being married makes it seem like I shouldn't have it anymore. But the fact is, I do. You could say it was like a hobby. So what's wrong with being a voyeur? Can it be true? been Lisa. I want to be on the cover of Vogue and you want to have sex orgies with Eskimos. What kind of a marriage is that? Let Bill and Lisa guide you through all the devastatingly funny hurdles of the marriage of a young stockbroker. And what does our lovely wife Lisa think about all of this? All right, I'll tell you the real reason why I can't be with you. Because I have no power when I'm with you. That's, it's as simple as that. You want power over me? Over myself. I want the feeling that I can make things happen. Christ, Lisa, who doesn't? But I can't take it anymore. And what about sister-in-law, Nan? If we went back inside your house and I took off all my clothes, would you look at me? And brother-in-law, Chester. As bad as things may be, they could always be worse. And psychiatrist, Dr. Sadler. How very revealing. I ask the most ordinary question, and your guilt makes you assume that I am referring to your peeping. Lisa, don't fall for this plot. She just asked if you're signing. You're not here to help me. You hashed it all over with Nan. You made up your mind I'm crazy. You, you want to trap me into pro proving that you're right. What's happening to me? What am I doing here? Am I going crazy? God, I hate you. I love you. If it takes my whole life to somehow prove that to you, then that's how I'm going to spend the rest of my life. Dear, is that starting to tear? Oh, I wasn't. The marriage of a young stockbroker. Wanting the love of one man. Rolf. You damn well better get this straight. You're not just another little tramp to me. You're something special. Inga, hungering for the arms of her father. You want me? Do something for me. Come, baby. Don't be afraid. I want to make you sorry. Take it off, you rugged little guy. Take it off. Inga is back in a totally new and shocking story. Inga, seeing everything. Uh, Baba! Inga, experiencing everything. In the seduction of Inga. Inga. Everything you ever wanted in a woman.
cars that are built with the micro precision of a jet ramming through the sound barrier. One mistake, and there ain't no second chance. Get ready for a motion picture that will knock your wheels off. American Nitro. Well, what a beautiful day down at the strip, putting my foot to the floor. Well, come on, baby, give me just a couple miles more. American Nitro, a film that opens it up and gets behind America's fastest growing sport. Drag racing and the supercharged funny cars. If you're at your first drag race, you say, how can anything be louder than that? Stand back. It's coming. American Nitro, starring Tom the Mongoose McEwen and Don the Snake Perdome. Get off on a life and death struggle as you sit behind their 2,000 horsepower engines and move into a split-second kick that gets you off. American Nitro, a high-powered, high-speed motion picture with drive to win. American Nitro, the motion picture that turns Russian roulette into kids' play. American Nitro. See those dragsters and funny car drivers take their 2,000 horsepower engines and tear up the track. American Nitro. Great American success story. Why don't you get rid of the bar? Sell it, lose it, dump it. Just get rid of it. All your dump needs is a few go-go girls, and you got it, mate. Got it, I got it. Give it to the bar. Red t-shirts. Red t-shirts. You're going to sell wet t-shirts. No, no, no. Girls in wet t-shirts. You're going to sell girls in wet t-shirts. No, I'm going to have a contest, a wet t-shirt contest. We wet girls down, we have a contest. So, what do you think? The girls have got to be luscious girls. I mean, I mean girls. Water on my body and I'm burning with fire. This disco baby is simmering. Hot t-shirts. Water on my body. It'll knock your socks off. Ladies and gentlemen, an important announcement from Academy Award winning actor Mr. George Kennedy. One very serious point. Lawnmowers do not kill people. People kill people. Wacko, wacko, wacko. At last, a motion picture made by, for, and about people just like you and me. Damien, how many times have I told you this is not a toy? Oh, they were
was a phone message for you. Oh, wow. From Norman? Oh, wow. He didn't say. Oh, come on, Mom. What did he say? Well, at first he goes, uh, Your daughter's gonna die tonight. Then he says, um, <laughs> Oh, wow. Far out. Can you <laughs> Police business? I'd like to have a few words with you. I'll never forget the first time I saw your father. If I'm rambling on too much, <laughs> just let me know. Oh, uh, not at all. <laughs> wacko, wacko, wacko! At last, the motion picture made by, for, and about people just like you and me. Wow, guys. These were some awesome retro movie trailers. These caught my brown eyes. That was so cool and awesome. Yeah, these retro movie trailers were so funny and awesome at the same time, you know. Yeah, these trailers from 1971 to 1982 are definitely making my eyeballs laugh and wiggle at the same time. Um, did I just hear someone knocking the door? I hope it's some of our friends or something. Well, let's go to the door to see who they are. Come on. Hi gentlemen, since Dora and Little Bill's parents are on vacation, we took them with us, including Jean, from the Emoji Movie as well. Boys, so glad to be here with Dora, Little Bill, and Jean. What's the story? Well, we're going to the Derivan Theater to see the anime double feature of Bleach and Naruto. Do you want to join? Oh yeah, of course. Branded, boys. Yee! Boys, so, what the heck are you waiting for, Team Sonic? Mary and their friends are waiting for us. So, Gene, Little Bill, the anime double feature of Bleach and One Piece is going to be so boring as heck. Yeah, Dora. I agree with you. Bleach and One Piece suck so bad. Yeah. This is going to be so bad. Hey Arnold and Barnyard are better than Bleach and One Piece you know. Wow guys. These were some vintage movie posters from the 1970s. That's so awesome. Yeah, I cannot stop looking at these 1970s movie posters hanging on the wall in the hallway. Eyes are sticking on them like Lou. Yee, these posters are really vintage and awesome, you know. Why, hello, boys. Are you ready to go to the drive-in theater for the anime double feature of Bleach in One Piece? Poor Reedy. Uh, let's get going to the drive-in theater. The girl are waiting for us. Plus, there are some special gusts coming in. Awesome. We're on it. When they arrived at the drive-in theater. Wow. Neptune, Marissa, and Homero. So glad you girls are here for the anime double feature at the drive-in theater. Aw. Oh, thanks, Corby. We appreciate it. Well, you know, Tails Boom, Sonic Boom, Gold Mario, Mario, Sonic, and Tails can wiggle their ears. You know that. Oh uh, yeah. We know that these cute boys can wiggle their ears. Yes, but sir, your, your A's on our ears. It's good and awesome at the same time. Wow, boys. That's an adorable and awesome ear wiggle. You're making my ears wiggle when you ears wiggle. So cute. Yeah. I agree with Isabel. You boys are making my ears wiggle when you wiggle your ears. So adorable and awesome at the same time. Why, thanks, Isabel and Jigglypuff. We appreciate your reception, girls. So, girls. Have you seen the scene when Spongebob throws a tantrum with his filmmaking problem? Well, 
This scene is from the episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, which is from Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 6, the motion picture. Well, yeah, I guess you are right with that one. Uh. Did you just put that on? No, I didn't want to lose it, so I put it there right before we started filming. Ah! Yeah, that scene from the SpongeBob episode was so crazy and funny at the same time. Yep. He also ate worms like a five-year-old kid. That's disgusting, but highly funny. Yeah, that's totally sick and funny at the same time. Also, that's so zany this sequence. Yep. This scene makes my eyeballs laugh and wiggle when I react to this sequence from the cartoon. Well, Cappy. Very funny eyeball wiggle. You have pretty big eyes like I do. Aw, oh, thanks for your positive reception, Tiara. Hey guys, girls, have you seen the episode called, Spongebob, You're Fired? Well, you mean the scene when Spongebob bursts into tears and created a flood at the Krusty Krab? Yeah, because Spongebob is fired, he threw a piece of paper on the grill, he worked for free. You know it's against the law to do that. He cried and cried furthermore, and then, he became a hermit. That's so unfunny. Yep. Not funny, didn't laugh. Yep. Kirby, so unfunny, didn't laugh as well. Yep. This is so humorless and lame. It's so silly and weird you know. Oh, have you seen the episode called, Plankton's Good Eye? Hold on. The Spongebob episode with Plankton gets an additional eyeball? Yeah, totally weird when Plankton has two eyes rather than one eye in the episode. Yeah, I agree Charmander. You know girls, I only have one eye. Get it? Oh really, Claptrap? You really have one eye? Yeah, so, what do you think of the episode? SUCCESS! Uh oh, that ain't good. No, 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 no! I can see everything! Good thing I always bring backup milk! Uh oh, here we go. Eureka! It's gone! That disgustingly good eye is final- Well, boys, I have to say about Plankton's good eye, this episode is so weird, but funny at the same time you know. Yeah. Agreed. This episode is so weird and funny at the same time. Well girls, we seem to agree with you. That was silly and funny at the same time. Well, what if Plankton and Mike Wazowski are brothers? They both are green and have one big eye. Get it? Yeah. Also, what if Mike Wazowski and Stuart the Minion are brothers, including Plankton? They have one eye. Get it? <laughs> oh! That's totally funny when Plankton, Mike Wazowski, and Stuart are brothers that have one, big eye. That's an awesome joke Waddle Dee. Yeah. Very awesome joke. Why hello boys and girls, I'm Waddle Doo. Thanks for inviting me here at the drive-in theater. Well, Waddle Doo, you're new to our game here, so how are you doing, White Pal? Well, great seeing you guys here. You are Kirby, Toad, Waddle D, Cappy, Claptrap, and others around me. Oh yeah, Waddle Doo, it says one-eyed friend. So, anyways, friends, the Abbots are starting right now. Sit tight, everyone. There's just no stopping true love. Chicken fries are back at Burger King. <laughs> no, you. Hi, honey. Oh, who are you chatting with? Just my tall, slim, blonde boyfriend. Don't you ever not. I told you to stay away from french fries. Ugh, I can't even. There's just no stopping true love. Chicken fries are back at Burger King. Ten nuggets for $1.49 are back at Burger King. How you like them nuggets? Ten nuggets for a dollar forty-nine. Now at Burger King. You want to explain to me what these French fries are doing in my house, Dad? 
Come on, they're my boys. Your boys? Your boys? Listen, you are a chicken. Stop acting like a side dish. What is your problem with french fries? Hey, you keep hanging around with french fries, you're going to end up just like them. Is that what you want? Maybe I do, Dad. Maybe I want to be a french fry. Is that so wrong? BK Chicken Fries. 12 pieces of all-white meat chicken with the courage to be french fries. Hey, Mom, SpongeBob's at Burger King. Can we go? As soon as your dad's done. Yes. Hey, honey. Guess who I am? Come on. Who am I? SpongeBob, no pants. Wow. And I live under the sea, honey, and a pineapple. SpongeBob, no pants. SpongeBob fever is spreading. Grab some tasty chicken fries and toys only at BK. And another surprise! You can sign up now for the pitch, hit, and run competition. Boys and girls 9 through 12 can get entry blanks and details at participating Burger King restaurants. Every kid who enters gets this official pitch, hit, and run patch. He's got food and food! in the bag. It's burgers to spare. I'll peel this potato in a magic way. Turn it into french fries. It's magic. Hooray! He's a marvelous magical burger king. He can do most anything. I love magic and food. That's fun. Fun, fun, fun. fun. He's got fun, fun, fun for everyone. Burger King, yay! A little drum music, if you please. Get ready for the hippest tape of them all. Look out, you beauties. Here comes Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country, legend of the crystal coconut. I can't believe I gave the crystal coconut to a couple of the bad guys. Arr, all I want to do is get me booty back to fend my honor with loot and lies. It's the first feature-length 3D animated adventure based on the enormously popular Nintendo game that took an entire generation by storm. Well, blow me down! <laughs> this is no wimpy fairy tale. It's a search for the truth. A battle between good and evil. A quest for supreme power. This adventure could only happen in a thriller of a gorilla, Donkey Kong. And now you can see it on video. Everyone is after it. Featuring all of your favorite characters. Cranky Kong, Diddy, King Cruel, 
Captain Scurvy, and of course, Donkey Kong. You want it? You got it! Donkey Kong Country Legend of the Crystal Coconut is filled with action, humor, and eight unforgettable funky hip-hop songs. We gotta get the coconut back! Again! So get ready. You'll go bananas for Donkey Kong Country Legend of the Crystal Coconut. Sounds to me like you've lost your coconut. Muffin says, Muffin like my chocolate chip cookies. Here you go, boy. Wow! Cookies! Who put this back empty? I, I didn't drink it. <laughs> cookies? Did you drink it? Me? Oh, boy. It's Goat Milk, fat boy! Cookie, I owe Got milk. It's grown up at all. Because it's very dangerous. Smoking does dreadful things to your lungs and it is very bad for your heart. Well, I know I don't have one, but humans do, and I think we should set a good example. Well done, R2. Oh, hello. You know smoking is bad for your health, and it isn't grown up at all. So please, don't smoke. Do you really think I don't have a heart? Wow guys, these Burger King commercials were so delicious, as well as the Pillsbury Doughboy commercial. These were so awesome as heck. Dude, get Waddle 2, I agree with you. These adverts included Burger King, Nintendo, Star Wars and much more. So awesome. Yeah guys, these adverts were so awesome. Yep, agreed. Thyka 2, Waddle 2 these adverts were so awesome, dude. Yep, so, let's watch the previews. They're starting right now. Alright then. Let's watch some awesome movie trailers. Sit tight. October is National Movie Month, when the best of the newest movies will be shown at your favorite theater. Join the world and share the romance, color, adventure, hilarity, excitement, and splendor that spell movies during National Movie Month. Be here in October. It's National Movie Month. Jim Rex? What's Jim Rex? 
Would you believe a movie audience guide presented as a public service by this theater's management to help you select your motion picture entertainment? Well, that's what it is. And we urge you to learn these rating symbols and use them as a guide for you and your family. G means suggested for general audiences, all ages. M, suggested for mature audiences, parental discretion advised. R, restricted, persons under 16 not admitted unless accompanied by parent or adult guardian. X, persons under 16 will not be admitted. This seal in advertising indicates that the film was approved under the motion picture code of self-regulation. abilities known so casually as quirks forced upon our kind these quirks bring about nothing but tragedy they are not a blessing on our world but the beginning of its end we humorize must take action even if it means dying the earth red with blood the leader's gone search the premises has placed bombs around the world. The weapons are set to explode in one hour and 52 minutes unless the heroes are able to find and disarm them worldwide. Heroes, success or failure of this task rests on your shoulders. This is it, heroes. Start your mission. Go! They're swinging! To protect the heroes, our friends, and the world. Die! You humans are being threatened. By the sickness of quirks. The gravely afflicted. You are beyond our help. Let go! I won't give up! I believe there's a hero in all of us. Gives us strength, makes us noble. Even though sometimes we have to give up the thing we want the most. Barker! Where you been? Looking for you all morning. You're late. Always late! You're fired! Look at your people. Your grades have been declining. You always appear exhausted. I know, I'm trying. So where you been, pal? You don't return my call. I've been kind of busy. Taking pictures of your friend. Spider-Man killed my father. No matter what I do. Do you love me or not? No matter how hard I try. I want Spider-Man dead. It's the ones I love who will always be the ones who pay. I can't keep thinking about you. I'm getting married. I want a life of my own. I'm Spider-Man. No more. You look different. I let things get in the way before. There was something I thought I had to do. I don't have to. I like seeing you tonight, Peter. Now on to the main event. Octavius is going to put Oscorp on the map in a way my father never even dreamed of. Crazy scientist turns himself into some kind of a monster. Four mechanical arms welded right onto his body. You take Spider-Man's pictures. Where is he? 
taking me off your loyalty to Spider-Man and not your best friend. Ah! Bring Spider-Man to me. How do I find him? Peter Parker. Find Spider-Man, or I'll peel the flesh off her bones. There are bigger things happening here than me and you. When the world is the target. 72 hours ago, a secret weapon system was detonated over Savanaya. And the threat is real. GoldenEye exists. A radiation surge that destroys everything with an electronic circuit. You can still depend on one man. I want you to find GoldenEye. Three. Find who took it. Two. And stop it. One. My name's Bond. James Bond. The world's most famous secret agent is back. We aim to please. And this time, 007 is facing the ultimate enemy. The man who knows him best. Hello, James. What an unpleasant surprise. 006. What's the message? No pithy comeback? He was your friend. And now he's your enemy and you will kill him. Is the satellite in range? Target is London. Now. The entire world is about to be caught in the crossfire. See you in hell, James. You first. Kill him. The pleasure will be all mine. Did you check her out? Head to toe. Three clicks, arms the fuse. Don't say it. The writing's on the wall. Grow up, 007. I think you're a sexist, misogynist dinosaur, a relic of the Cold War. <laughs> you know, James, I was always better. Both of you, stop it! You're like boys with toys. The trick is to quit while you're still ahead. I wouldn't think of it. Charming, sophisticated secret agent. Shaken, but not disturbed. <laughs> Get us out of here! Bond, only Bond. The man just won't take a hint. The gun. That depends on your definition of safe sex. On November 17th, Grab him! United Artists brings you, trust me, James Bond. Why can't you just be a good boy and die? Now that's one trick I've never learned. an entire generation. People have experienced Star Wars the only way it's been possible, on the TV screen. But if you've only seen it this way, you haven't seen it at all. Now, for its 20th anniversary, the adventure of a lifetime returns to the big screen in a way you've never seen before. There'll be no one to stop us this time. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. With newly enhanced visual effects. They're coming in too fast! THX and digital sound. And a few new surprises. <laughs> What's it up, Ra? Look, Jabba, next time you want to talk to me, come see me yourself.
Here they come. This January, Good luck. George Lucas and 20th Century Fox invite you to welcome back Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Chewbacca, C-3PO, and R2-D2. Finally, the motion picture event, the way it was meant to be experienced. This will be a day long remembered. As the entire Star Wars trilogy returns. On January 31st, Star Wars. On February 21st, The Empire Strikes Back. Then on March 7th, Return of the Jedi. Move closer! For a whole new generation who have yet to experience it on the big screen. And for everyone else yeah. to experience it again. That boy is our last hope. No. There is another. The Star Wars Trilogy, Special Edition. See it again, for the first time. The Force will be with you, always. Beyond the darkness, beyond the human evolution, is Khan, a genetically superior tyrant. Exiled to a barren planet, banished by a starship commander he is destined to destroy. Left for dead, he has survived. I'll chase him round the moon of Nibia and round the Antares maelstrom and round Perdition's flames before I give him up. There she is. There she is. Collapsing, Captain. Can you evade their power? A few shots, sir. Not enough against their shields. The base is stubborn. Scotty, I need warp speed in three minutes or we're all dead. I've done far worse than kill you. I've hurt you. And I wish to go on hurting you. I shall leave you as you left me, marooned for all eternity, buried alive, buried alive. Sean! Sean! At the end of the universe lies the beginning of vengeance. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Opens at a theater near you, June 4th. He was the best. He killed the rest. The master killer. The master of the martial kung fu art. Revenge drove him on. Vengeance would be his. The Manchu warlords would pay for their crimes. See the master killer. The greatest artisan of kung fu. He is the best. The Master Killer, rated R from World Northall. He comes from beyond time. From beyond the outer limits of your imagination. He's the master of the flying guillotine. And he's ready to blow your mind. With more nerve-shattering special effects than you have ever seen before. It's a trip into a world where warriors from the ends of the universe meet in combat that knows no boundaries. A world where 
as silent soldiers of death try everything in their power to conquer the most gruesome weapon ever conceived. See special visual effects filmed entirely in Super Cinevision as the master of the flying guillotine encounters the most amazing creatures in this or any world. As he experiences the most spectacular adventures the mind can imagine. The master of the flying guillotine. Richard Harris is a man called Horse. He goes west to discover what sort of man he is. He's captured by the Sioux, who have never seen a white man before. He is treated like an animal, fights with dogs for scraps of meat. He's man reduced to his absolute minimum. Christ! I've had enough! You bunch of bloody bastards! I'm not a horse! I'm not an animal! I am a man! I'm going to get out of here and you're going to help me. And why I do this? Because you want to get out, and that's why. When you first brought me here, you said I was a horse, an animal. And to me, you were mean, vicious, ignorant, superstitious, benighted savages. And when you fight your enemies and their arrows pierce your skins, you bleed like all men. But it seems to me that you only live to hunt your buffalo, to fight the Shoshone, and to have your women. I know you would say to me, what else is there? And one day, I will be a chief. A man called Horse. To finally become an Indian warrior, he must perform the sun vow ceremony. Perhaps the most electrifying ritual ever seen. Wow, guys. Just wow. These were a bunch of awesome movie trailers that caught my big, blue eyes. Weren't they awesome or? Yeah, these retro movie previews at this drive-in theater caught my big eyeball. So awesome as heck, bro. Yep. These trailers were so darn awesome, these made my eyeballs wiggle when I react to these previews, dude. Yeah, these trailers were so rather awesome at the same time. Plus, these made my ears wiggle when I reached to these previews. Yeah, Sonic Boom, I agree with you. This made my ears wiggle when I read to these movie previews. Yeah, boys, these movie previews at this drop in the were so down with some as heck.
So, boys, are you done ready for the Nickelodeon double feature of Rape Arnold and Barnyard? Hell yes, Barney. So damn ready for the Nickelodeon double feature of Hey Arnold and Barnyard. Me as well, dude. This Nickelodeon double feature is going to be so awesome as hell. So, let's wait for Dora, Little Bill, and Jean for the double feature. Oh, great! Yo guys, I have something to tell you. What is it, Dora? Don't tell anyone. Let's go ditch from this stupid anime double feature to see the Nickelodeon double feature of Hey Arnold and Barnyard. That's an awesome idea. Let's go, kids. Wait a minute. Where did Dora, Little Bill, and Jean go, guys? Girls? Well, I really just don't rightly know where the three kids went. What'll do? Well, yes. Agreed with you, Kirby. I just don't know where they went. Really don't know. Hi there, Barney, Bonos, and Shredder. Why, hello there, Dora, Little Bill, and Jean. What is it? Whoa, that Shredder, that is. That is. That's right. We're on it. Yeah. So, let's go get some tickets for the movie, boys. Hello. Welcome to Beyond Stadium and Movie Theater. What concert or movie would you like to see? Can we have six tickets to see the Nickelodeon double feature of Hey Arnold and Barnyard? All right then. Here are your tickets. Enjoy the show. Thanks, Ken and Group. This is P.R. Walter and King Tyler Sam, our special guests. Hi, Hi King Tyler, Tyler Sam. Hi, Hi P.R. Walter. Walter. Hello, Hello there, Dora, Dora and, and little, little Bill. You see, Dora, Little Bill, King Tyler Sam. Guy, if Walter can wiggle their ears, isn't that right, boys? That's right, Barney. So, watch this, Dora and Little Bill. Wow, Kia Walter, King Tyler Sam, nice ear wiggle you got. So awesome as heck. Yeah. That was so awesome, Kia Walter, and King Tyler Sam. Why thanks, Dora, and Little Bill. So, the movie is about to start right now. Sit tight and watch the show, guys. I like square bucks and I cannot lie. Squid and sea star can't deny. When a sponge walks in four corners and it stands like he got phone book implants, the crowd shouts. All the ladies stare. Hang those pants are square. Swinging through the seaweed tangles is a butt with show right angles. Now, SpongeBob, I want to get with ya. Cause you're making me rich, ya. Burger King wants me to seal the deal. 99 cent, get a toy and a kid's meal. Booty is booty. Buy an adult value meal and get a BK Kids meal with a SpongeBob toy for just 99. Oh, hello. Based on your recent search terms, how to make friends, funny things to look at, and harmless dinosaurs, the following ad was tailor-made just for you. You're welcome, America. Roll it. Let the games begin. Are you not entertained? Who are these things? Not a Hulu subscriber, I'm guessing. We'll get you a seven-day free trial. You have been shopping with my phone again. No, we haven't. Then who bought the industrial meat grinder? What? Frank, have one of these delicious astronaut ice creams. Pinky, that's a kitchen sponge. Oh, that explains why I've barely had to use the bathroom. <laughs> We can do this in a calm and professional manner or zany antics. Antics! Antics! Kill the antics! Frank, what are we going to do tomorrow night? Try to take over the world. What 
is the meaning of this nonsense? Johnny, sweetie, relax. We're jesters, we jest. <laughs> hey, Sims! We're so meta that the shark jumps us! We're mani mani, totally insane. Bad dog gamey, mani mani Oh, Pinky, when's the last time you bathed? It's stinky, stinky and the brain. Across these great oceans, one hero has risen to unite us all. One Krabby Patty at a time. This is the happiest day of my life! This summer, the sponge who changed the world will be celebrated in an unprecedented three-day SpongeBob event. Sponge and watch! The pants will rise, the patties will fly, and for the first time ever, this is where it gets juicy, ten brand new Spongebob episodes will be unveiled. <laughs> the ultimate Spongebob Sponge Bash, coming this July on Nick. Spongebob! July 17th, prepare. I'm ready, I'm ready. To get square. Oh my gosh, I never thought this moment would come. The ultimate SpongeBob Sponge Bash starts July 17th. Okay, pals, I only know one word to describe our next DVD. Incredible! Now you can get one of your favorite Pixar pals in every McDonald's Happy Meal. I gotta get up, gotta move. I gotta can do, feel good attitude. It's what I eat and what I do. Making good choices, how about you? You can kick it into high gear with Acceleracer's Hot Wheels. They light up. And now there's an Acceleracer's Hot Wheels toy in every McDonald's Happy Meal. My coach is worked up about the game and our fate. And we just don't get it. Heck, we're only eight. Then Rob steps in. Is he for real? Looks like someone scored a Happy Meal. Got a taste for fun. Hey, a finger tapping happy meal. Gotta give you me You can get fun. a finger tapping toy from Disney's all new movie, The Lion King, one and a half, in every McDonald's happy meal. I'm loving it. On February 19th, who? Kitty. Catch up with some old friends. Ta da! And get a free admission to Monsters University. Whoa. Disney Pixar's Monsters Age new collector's edition Blu ray, February 19th. <laughs> The SpongeBob SquarePants DVD collection is available now. will prove to be my greatest evil scheme ever. Let the mole eat Always I hit my head on some rocks. Now I can't seem to remember anything. What am I going to do without my best friend? Uh, I SpongeBob SquarePants DVD collection is available now. Each sold separately. And look out for more SpongeBob DVDs coming soon. <laughs> New to DVD, March 16th, SpongeBob's Last Stand. When there is no hero on the horizon, someone has to step up. There's still one citizen who won't sit still. Seven particle blowing stories filled with Plankton's evil plans. The Shelly Superhighway goes right over Jellyfish Fields. <laughs> Features an ever-before-seen episode, plus how to make SpongeBob SquarePants and karaoke music videos. I'm not ready to give up. I am. SpongeBob's Last Stand, new to DVD, March 16th. 
October is National Movie Month, when the best of the newest movies will be shown at your favorite theater. Join the world and share the romance, color, adventure, hilarity, excitement, and splendor that spell movies during National Movie Month. Be here in October. It's National Movie Month. Jim Rex? What's Jim Rex? Would you believe a movie audience guide presented as a public service by this theater's management to help you select your motion picture entertainment? Well, that's what it is. And we urge you to learn these rating symbols and use them as a guide for you and your family. G means suggested for general audiences, all ages. M, suggested for mature audiences, parental discretion advised. R, restricted, persons under 16 not admitted unless accompanied by parent or adult guardian. X, persons under 16 will not be admitted. This seal in advertising indicates that the film was approved under the Motion Picture Code of Self-Regulation. Right, name the town. I'll be on my way in the morning. What? Nineveh? You don't want me to go there. In a land of mystery. Uh, Nineveh! It's the other end of the world! <laughs> in a town full of trouble. Nineveh, the biggest, meanest city around. Those people do not know right from wrong. It's up to one reluctant asparagus. You are a Jonah. You are a big shot. <laughs> I have the Jonah plush toy. With the help of some fearless friends. We are the pirates who don't do anything. Oh, you'll know that's right. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. Oh, lovely. To go where no vegetable has dared to go. We got trouble. You are, you are... Fish food. Big Idea Productions presents... Ah! Archibald Asparagus. Bob the Tomato. Oh, dear. Larry the Cucumber. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Oops. And introducing... A caterpillar named Khalil. That is only half true. My mother was a caterpillar. My father was a worm. But I am okay with that now. They may be fresh. <laughs> They're a fresh when we cut them. <laughs> they may be feisty. Didn't I tell you to get off my ship, you lousy leaf eater? Fire one! But soon, they may be lunch. Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie. This fall. Only in theaters. It is very delightful, but I must go now. Great American success story. What if you get rid of the bar? Sell it, lose it, dump it. Just get rid of it. All your dump needs is a few go-go girls, and you got a main. Oh, I got it, I got it. Give it to the bar. Red t-shirts. Red t-shirts. You gotta sell wet t-shirts. No, no, no. Girls in wet t-shirts. You're gonna sell girls in wet t-shirts. No, I'm gonna have a contest, a wet t-shirt contest. We wet girls down, we have a contest. So what do you think? The girls have got to be luscious girls. I mean, I mean girls. Water on my body and I'm burning with fire. This disco baby is simmering. Hot t-shirts. Water on my body.
Rock T-shirts. T-shirts. It'll knock your socks off. One of the year's most enchanting stories is about to bloom. Now, Don Bluth, the director of An American Tale, takes children of all ages on a wondrous and spectacular fantasy adventure that will delight and surprise you. A troll in Central Park. It all begins when a lovable little troll named Stanley... I won't have him growing any more of those things! Flowers? ...is banished to Central Park by an evil queen. It feels delicious to be so vicious I'm the Loga, the queen of me There, he accidentally comes face to face with a little girl Troll And her brother Gus I'm Stanley, what's your name? Rose Watch this Together, they share a remarkable journey as they experience the incredible magic of Stanley's amazing special powers. You've got to have a dream. After them! Until the evil queen discovered all the fun they were having. <laughs> now, you too can enjoy the wonder and enchantment of a friendship that grows and blossoms in a movie that will make your heart sing. A Troll in Central Park. When you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Warning. An epidemic of fish fever is sweeping the nation. It is highly contagious. Fortunately, there is no cure. It's the fish that saved Pittsburgh. It's the fish. Fish. There are Pisces. All Pisces. It's dazzling. It's futuristic. It's fun. Some balloons for everybody. I mean, it's a sacrilege, and it's what it is. It's got speed. It's got rhythm. All across the land. It's got style. It's like gong show. It's a new sensation. A celebration. And a secret weapon. It's fish fever. And once you catch it, you're a hook. The fish that saves Pittsburgh. An astrological disco sports extravaganza. And may the fish be with you. Friends, this is the story of Leroy Jones. No, that's not him. Or rather, that wasn't him. What the nigga done doing now? No, that's not him either. Who is the fight? That's Leroy Jones, the one that bears a striking resemblance to Richard Pryor. He's an ordinary man with ordinary desires. You think maybe I could have one kiss? <laughs> yes, he was a loving man. A man with honesty and courage. I, I, I didn't see a face. I saw a woman, a short woman with two tall midgets. A family man. I believe there's a attack of lunacy going around here. <laughs> a man of passion. Oh, oh. Damn, baby. A man of action. <laughs> Oh, you naughty boy, you will be punished!
with a wonderful woman to support. Well, actually, two wonderful women and a wonderful kid. He climbed the ladder of success. Then, trip. Anybody right now? Yeah, the nigga gonna be famous, all right. Gonna be the first one to ever see his own show on TV. Friends, if he could do it, why can't you? Just see which way is up. The inspiring story of a winner. I'm number uno. <laughs> no, a sinner. You have not sinned unless you do it on pirates. And the world's dirtiest old man. I heard that. Starring Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. And Richard Pryor. Which way is up? Oh! <laughs> I'm resting on his soul. I heard that. Richard Pryor. Which way is up? I love love stories, don't you? Once upon a time, in a land far, far away. She's a funny little squirt. A very small girl, no bigger than a thumb. I wish I were big. Don't ever wish to be anything but what you are. And an impossible dream of finding her one true love. Let me be your only love. We'll live happily ever after. But before her fairy prince could claim her heart. She's going to marry the fairy prince. Well, perhaps. She was stolen from her home. Somebody in the sky. Who did it? A toad. And lost to a very big world. I'll find her. You are going to marry my son? Oh, no, no, no. Thumbelina! I hear that she loves the fairy prince, right? Are you real? And marry the fairy prince? Yes. <laughs> well, then follow your heart. It will lead you home. Yeah. From the enchanting pages of Hans Christian Andersen's storybook classic and the imagination of Don Bluth, director of an American tale, comes a magical ride in a world brought to life by the music of Barry Manilow. Oh, Thumbelina. I love great romances. Thumbelina. Nothing is impossible if you follow your heart. A lovely story. They called him Elegant John, and he was one heck of a trucker. Like all truckers, he had a dream. I worked all my life. I've driven all across the country. All I wanted to do was make one last run. One last perfect run carrying load all the way across the country. And Elegant John was going to make that dream come true, even if it meant breaking through. The Great Smoky Roadblock, in a stolen truck filled with ladies of dubious background and doubtful reputation. Elegant John set out on the wildest cross-country trailer truck chase in the history of the American highway. Two more states and we are home free. Sometimes there was a little detour. My God! But there's more than one way to skin a possum. Leave me alone now. Just leave me alone. I'm, I'm married. <laughs> Ain't nobody that guy. If you know what I mean. The Great Smoky Roadblock stars Henry Fonda. Back, cowboy. You get in my way again, I'll kill you. You hear me? Eileen Brennan. You will never take us alive. The smoking marijuana would make you crazy. John Viner as crazy Bobby Appers. Dub Taylor. And Dana House as Celeste Lay. Fast 
fasten your seatbelts, turn on that CV, and get ready for the death-defying ride of a lifetime. Get ready for the ride that would forever abolish the Great Smoky Roadblock. It's the fanciest truckin' you've ever seen. ocean lives a sponge unlike any other. Hooray! Bubble Party! For years, he enjoyed a carefree life. Hey! Who blew this bubble? But all that was about to change. By tomorrow, I will rule the world! <laughs> Well, good luck with that. My crown! Ah! Someone has stolen the royal crown! <laughs> Who can stop me now? <laughs> oh! You, be back here with my crown in exactly ten days. You can do it in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, five, six it is then. Now, what is it? The paddy wagon. Sesame Seed finish. Steel belted pickles. And under the hood? Wow. Yeah. Wow. We will begin a journey to become the hero he was born to be. Are they laughing at us? No, Patrick. They're laughing next to us. This November. Hooray for SpongeBob! Get ready. Let's get it out! For big adventure. Oh, boy. <laughs> How you doing? Big trouble. Things have gotten a lot worse since you left. Plankton's turned everyone we know into slaves. Even Gary. Oh, Plankton. Big twists. Oh, my gosh, Patrick, you have a mustache. So do you. Oh. oh. <laughs> Big action. And big surprises when Sponge Meets World. Who are you? I'm David Hasselhoff. For the very first time. Hooray! The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Century Fox invites you to take an advanced peek at the biggest holiday event of 1994. Starring Macaulay Culkin as you've never seen him before. In the world of Richard Tyler, danger is everywhere. Ah! Look, yeah. it's Richard Tyler. Go for it, Tyler. What's wrong? You scared? Hey, Rich, come on up. Solid as a rock. 8% of all household accidents involve ladders. Another 3% involve trees. We're looking at 11% probability here. Go down to Gutman's Hardware Store, buy a pound of nails. We're going to finish this treehouse before dark if it kills us. Out of the rain and into a place where imagination runs wild. Welcome, young man. The library hall, please. I don't have one. You do now. Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime with the Page Master. I'm a cartoon. You are an illustration. Right now, he's only a drawing, while the most magical film of 1994 is in production. Featuring the voices of Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, baby. Patrick Stewart. Ah, I ain't afraid of nothing. Frank Welker from Aladdin. Ah, 
Leonard Nimoy. Dr. Jekyll? Yes, sir. And Christopher Lloyd. I am the Page Master. Producer David Kirshner, who brought you an American tale, Once Upon a Forest, and Hocus Pocus, joins director Joe Johnston of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and the world's most creative animation designers to bring you an incredible world where Richard Tyler must conquer his own fears. Hang on, guys! I'm coming! That's it, boy! Go for the desert! The motion picture experience that will open your eyes to all the treasures the imagination can hold. The Page Master. Coming for Christmas 1994. Pictures, where they make a picture a week, and if it's a good picture, it's a miracle. Action! I'm in the heat, and I'm horny as hell. That's a bad Ma, that's not in the script. The script, I'm being eaten alive. Mary, this is not a film about the human condition. This is a film about kiss and ass. Hollywood Boulevard, where starlets are made. Hi, I'm Candy. You must be an actress. Well, I'm trying to be one. Hello, cold and empty night. Is anybody sleepy? Or shall we have a three-way career conference? I was PG, Miracle Pictures. I had a little accident on the set, and uh, they need a replacement in a hurry. A stunt driver? Look, I can't. In this scene, your motivation is to, to be... stay alive. We buried our last stunt girl on Saturday. Good luck, sweetheart. They audition in bed, dodge flying lead, do whatever it takes to get ahead. No, no, no! I want action! Jill, what a performance. Jill? Jill! She's dead, for real! How am I going to get my close-up? What? PG, you just don't understand. People are dying. Hey, that's showbiz. Hollywood Boulevard brings you Haunted Castles, Skydiving, Water Sports, Future Shock, Axe Murders, Crime in the Streets, Kung hey! Fu, Green Meatballs, Pink Monsters, Girls in bikini, girls without bikini, witty remarks. Blow it out your ass. Naked well, truth. It's a real low budget picture, you know what I mean? Raw emotion. And Commander Cody and his lost planet airmen. Can't give you those fancy feet. See the people everywhere they go. Reach you ho Things happen fast on Hollywood Boulevard. Rated R. Cut! Maybe I should just try the first line until you're sure that the attitude's right. I think we need to start laying him down. Okay, let's try that. John Cleese, 22, take one. We are paying this respected professional. Any more comments before I start running? To act like a fraud. <laughs> How do I get myself talked into these things? A frog who thinks he's a prince. Voila! They call me your highness. Trying to save a swan. Hold up! To the rescue, mademoiselle! A swan who's really a princess. Princess and death. And that's just for starters. <laughs> The Swan Princess, featuring the voices of John Cleese. Sure, go on, John Dabu, race to your death. Sandy Duncan. No, it can't be. Jack Balance. Had to be sneaky, didn't you? And Stephen Wright. No, 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 no. In a fresh spin on a classic fairy tale. Dead. Derek. A magical musical animated adventure. Swan Princess. Secret of Music 
process for beer is advertising! That makes what? sense. You are about to enter the dynamic, high-pressured world of advertising. You're all yes men. Whenever I ask you a question, you're always going to say yes. What good is that? I need men who will tell me what they think. Am I right, Reamer? Yes. You're fired. Get out. Don't look back. Press the down button. Here, creative people team up to exchange brilliant ideas. Ideas that will influence everything from what we drive. Okay, honey, do your stuff. To what we put in our mouths. I don't like it. All right, then picture this, and how about this? Longer cans. I hate it. Smythe, you're the uh, creative director. Uh, you got anything you can uh, throw out at us here? We get a bunch of guys. They work in construction. And after a hard day's work, they reach for some Norbecker beer. They all reach for a beer. Each one gets a beer. Then they hold them up. Smythe? You're fired. Get out. Mr. Femer. Yes, Miss Tucker, what does the lady executive have to say? I'm putting together a concept. And now, you're about to experience more drama. I will smash Anakin. And more action than you've ever expected. In a light comedy. When me and my buddies are drinking Norbeck of Pilsner, we don't like being disturbed. Noah Becker Pills. Have one if you're tough enough. I want macho. What has beer got to do with being a man? <laughs> Alcoholism, divorce, violence in the streets. We're doing great. You pick the right kind of guys for this sort of thing. Me and my buddies. Case of Noah Becker and let nature take its course. Commercial over yet, guy? Most commercials, come on, fellas. They are disgusting. They are degrading. Or are they? Let's find out. I just try to make a living like everybody else. So come on, guys. We got you Norbeckers. Beer, the funniest movie ever to come out of a bottle. Oh my god guys. This Nickelodeon double feature show is going to be so awesome as heck. Oh yeah. I agree with you, King Tyler Sand. Wow kids, that's what I like to hear it to my ears. Let's watch the show, everyone. After the and I'm double feature at the drive-in theater. Well guys, thanks for everything. Hey, you're super welcome, girls. Now, Kirby, thanks for coming with us to the drive-in theater. How about a great kiss for you, babe? Ah, uh, Jigglypuff, you are definitely making me blush and my blue eyes turn into red hearts. Thanks for the kiss. Hey, you're super welcome, my lovable pink boy. Toady, thanks for coming with us to the drive-in theater for an anime double feature. How about an awesome kiss for you? Aw, oh, Odette, oh you're making me blush. Thanks for the kiss, my love. You're super welcome, sweet Toady. Cappy, my dear brother, thanks for coming with us to the drive-in theater. How about a great kiss for you? Oh. Tiara, my dear sister, you are making me blush. Thanks for the kiss, sweet sister. Oh, Caps. You're super welcome, sweetheart. You're so cute. Well, thanks, babe. I appreciate your reception. Well, thanks for inviting me here at the drive-in theater, guys. I appreciate it. Hey, you're super welcome, newcomer. Yeah, guys. So, have you seen another Spongebob episode called, The Splinter? Oh my dear god. This is one of the most disgusting Spongebob episodes ever. Yeah, that was the most gruesome Spongebob episode that I have ever seen. Yeah, this Spongebob episode is totally gruesome as heck. Agreed. So, remember the cartoon called, The Animaniacs from 1993 to 1998? Wait a minute, 
Is that the cartoon with the Warner Trio? Oh yeah. That's right. That's the one with the Warner Brothers and Warner Sister. Well, the names of the Warner Trio are Wacko, Yakko, and Dot. Oh yes. You are definitely correct. Yeah, the Pinky and the Brain were in this cartoon. Oh yeah. They are included in the cartoon as well. Alright you guys. So, where are Dora, Little Boat, and Dina at? Hold on. Did they ditch from the anime double feature? Yeah. They ditched from the anime double feature to see the Nickelodeon double feature at Vion Stadium in movie theater. So, who's with us? So, gentlemen, are you darn ready for the punishment for Dora, Little Bill, and Jean? Born ready, Kirby. Let's do this. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. Let's go. Awesome. Come on, you guys. Come on, boys. We're almost there. Who the ticket manager to talk about this? Yeah, I know. Pac-Man, we're getting there. Hello, boys. Is there a problem? Oh, yes. There's a problem. Dora, Little Bill, and Jean are watching the Nickelodeon double feature of Hey Arnold and Barnyard. Can we go punish them for good? Okay, then. Go on, boys. Thanks. Canon Films. Alright guys, do you hear anything in this anime? Oh yeah, I hear something in this theater. How about you, guys? Yes, yeah, Kirby, I hear something inside this theater. Are you ready to punish the guys? Born ready, Kirby. So, let's get inside the cinema right now. Come on. Boys. Wait a second guys, I see King Tyler Sam, Pie Lover, Shredder, Thanos, and Barney and the Purple Dinosaur had joined the three guys. Did you see that? Pop your eyes on them. So, boys, are you ready to punish Thor and friends? Born ready. So, let's go punish them right now. Holy shit. We're in deep, damn trouble. That's right. How dare you guys watch the Nickelodeon double feature of the Arnold and Barnyard. You know the double feature is made by Nickelodeon. Also, you're banned from stuff made by Nickelodeon, Big Idea, Cartoon Network, Blue Sky, DreamWorks, Pixar. Ubisoft, Activision, and Mojang. And Little Bill, watch your mouth, kid. Yes. I agree with Kirby. Get outside the theater right now. No! Guys, somebody's here to see you. It's your mom, Dora. That's right. Thanos, Shredder, Kim Tyler San, Kia Walter, Barney the Purple Dinosaur, and Jean, go home right now so I have to deal with Dora and Little Bill. Scram. <coughs> Dora, Little Bill, how dare you boys ditch from the army may double feature of the drive-in theater to see the Nickelodeon double feature of Hey Arnold and Barnyard. That's it kids. You're coming home with me, let's go.
Alright you guys, do you want to see a trailer reel from the 1970s to the 1990s? Oh yeah, Kirby, thanks for inviting me here at the home theater. Yeah, it's been a long time when I was with you. So, is the trailer reel a mystery? Alright then guys, here it is. How old are you? Fifteen. <laughs> Imagine that! It was the fabulous 60s. A time of prosperity, intellectual women, fast cars, fast food, and a high school. Kessler, do you have a pass? You got me. Chicken on the run, up yours! This is a chronicle of that era. Oh, Dave, you have to find a place. A safe place. A safe place? The Chicken Chronicle. Come to me, your brother, to find a place to take your girlfriend? Who's there? A story of feelings you wanna see? and emotions. Women! All women! Because I love women, just that old. I want them all. A pulsating view of what really happened. <laughs> oh. An intricate look at the young lives of tomorrow's society. Margaret. Their hopes. Alone. Their fears. It's a quarter of an inch too long. Their work. Their play. Their leaders and their friends. It's your uncooperative attitude. Not liking school is uncooperative? It was a time of budding young romances and strong family relationships. Dave, when did you have this fixed? You can't keep disconnecting your intercom, Dave. Mom, all I want is a little privacy, huh? A chance to expand into new areas. Get me Kessler! And leave a lasting impression on those you leave behind. Ready, set! Yes, it was a very special moment in time. Listen, I forgot something. Best remembered by history for its contribution to the party. Ta-da! Oh, outrageous! Oh, I thought it'd impress you. You took a 14-year-old ravishing hooker to the senior prom? Kiss me. <laughs> These wonderful people, those wild events, in these uncompromising chronicles. Oh, yeah? The Chicken Chronicles, in the spirit of 69. Nobody will be in or out? Nova. I don't know. I promise it's foolproof. David! Hi, Mom. I love love stories, don't you? Once upon a time, in a land far, far away. Bumbalina! She's a funny little squirt. A very small girl, no bigger than a thumb. I wish I were big. Don't ever wish to be anything but what you are. And an impossible dream of finding her one true love. Let me be your only love. Well, it Happily ever after. But before her fairy prince could claim her heart. She's gonna marry the fairy prince. Well, perhaps. She was stolen from her home. Somebody in the sky. Who did it? A toad. And lost to a very big world. I'll find her. You are going to marry my son? Oh, no, no, no. Thumbelina! I hear that she loves the fairy prince, right? Are you really gonna marry the fairy prince? Yes. <laughs> well, then follow your heart. It will lead you home. Yeah. Sure to do impossible things. From the enchanting pages of Hans Christian Andersen's storybook classic <laughs> and the imagination of Don Bluth, director of an American tale comes a magical ride in a world brought to life by the music of Barry Manilow. Oh, Thumbelina. I love great romances. Thumbelina. Nothing is impossible if you follow your heart. A lovely story.
called him Elegant John, and he was one heck of a trucker. Like all truckers, he had a dream. I worked all my life. I've driven all across the country. All I want to do is make one last run. One last perfect run, carrying load all the way across the country. And Elegant John was going to make that dream come true, even if it meant breaking through the Great Smoky Roadblock in a stolen truck filled with ladies of dubious background and doubtful reputation. Elegant John set out on the wildest cross-country trailer truck chase in the history of the American highway. Two more states and we are home free. Sometimes there was a little detour. My God! But there's more than one way to skin a possum. Leave me alone there. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm married. Ain't nobody that married. If you know what I mean. The Great Smoky Roadblock stars Henry Fonda. Bad cowboy. You get in my way again, I'll kill you. You hear me? Eileen Brennan. You will never take us alive. That smoking marijuana would make you crazy. John Viner as crazy Bobby Appers. Dub Taylor. And Dana House as Celeste Lay. Fasten your seatbelts, turn on that CV, and get ready for the death-defying ride of a lifetime. Get ready for the ride that would forever abolish the Great Smoky Roadblock. It's the fanciest truckin' you've ever seen. When you feel like you're falling apart and life is turning gray, come to a faraway spot that you know will fulfill all your dreams. It's a state and a state of mind, somewhere between fantasy and reality. It's a great new movie called California Dreaming. He's not tan. He wears stupid clothes. He's icky. Hi. California, California dreaming. I can't do it. I'm just not from here. Learn to play volleyball. Anything can happen. The more women you touch, the better your fingers get. The more sensitive your fingers are, the better you play volleyball. The better you play volleyball, the more women you get to touch. If you'll just let me get her bra off, I'll never ask you for anything else ever again in my whole life. He went west in search of a dream, a dream called California. He became a part of it, and so will you. California Dreaming. Original soundtrack on Casablanca Records and Tapes. One of the year's most enchanting stories is about to bloom. Now, Don Bluth, the director of An American Tale, takes children of all ages on a wondrous and spectacular fantasy adventure that will delight and surprise you. A troll in Central Park. It all begins when a lovable little troll named Stanley... I won't have him growing any more of those things! Flowers? ...is banished to Central Park by an evil queen. It feels delicious to be so vicious. I'm Ganoga, the queen of me. There, he accidentally comes face to face with a little girl. Joe. And her brother, Gus. Who's there? I'm Stanley. What's your name? Rosie. Watch this. Together, they share a remarkable journey as they experience the incredible magic of Stanley's amazing special powers. You've got to have a dream. After them! Until the evil queen discovered all the fun they were having. <laughs> now, you too can enjoy the wonder and enchantment of a friendship that grows and blossoms. 
in a movie that will make your heart sing. A troll in Central Park. When you believe in yourself, you can do anything. In the year 1987, at Cape Kennedy, NASA launched the last of America's deep space probes. Aboard this compact starship, a lone astronaut, Captain William Buck Rogers, was to experience cosmic forces beyond all comprehension. His trajectory was disrupted by an explosion. In the wink of an eye, his life support systems were frozen by temperatures beyond imagination. Ranger 3 was blown out of its planned trajectory. Buck was frozen by elements so instantaneous and perfect that he was fully preserved and living when found by the forces of the Draconian Army and taken aboard the King's flagship, Draconia. Where am I? We asked the questions. For you. Captain Buck Rogers, United States Air Force. Who are you? What did he say? Something about a United States. Captain, what is your destination? Who are you? You were aboard the King's flagship Draconia, under command of the Royal Princess Sardala, on its way to Earth on a peace mission. On its way to Earth? I mean, we're not... We're not on? Oh. Give him something for his discomfort. Oh. Are you a real life princess? <laughs> I think we've given our captain a little too much medication. Oh, no, no, I feel great. <laughs> and how are we this morning? Great, where are we going? We're going home. Great, where's that? On Earth. All right. I have the strangest feeling I'm going to see Captain Rogers again. Here's the control, this is flight 711. Put down the back end of board, put away the cars. Lucky Buck is back. A kind of town Chicago is Practically a foreign language. Can it be some kind of joke? Hey, baby, this is quite a setup. It's Colonel Daring, commander of Earth's defenses. Take this barbarian in for interrogation. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Captain Buck Rogers, you are now in the 25th century. I think I will have it right now. What planet? Oh, it's Earth, of course. You returned as your mission required to almost the precise landing area originally programmed into your ship. Ah, uh, look, Doc. Uh, I've been through a lot. But there is no way you can tell me that that city out there is anything like Chicago. No, it isn't. There's nothing like Chicago left on Earth. Tell me about the Holocaust. I can't. The council will tell you in time. Look, I lost everything that was important to me. My father, mother, brothers, sisters, a woman I cared for. And until I hear something that convinces me different, they're waiting for me somewhere in time and space right now. By unanimous vote, the council finds for the state. Captain Rogers, you and your representative, Councilor Theopolis, are banished from the inner cities. You will be removed to Anarchia, there to live out your lives as you see fit. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but that place back there is starting to look good to me. I wouldn't start feeling sorry for myself yet. This is nothing compared to what lies ahead.
brings you out on a night like this? Captain, I came to find you at some personal risk. Very ballsy. Very what? Welcome aboard the flagship Draconia. Delighted. This is an unexpected pleasure. I'm Colonel Deering, commander of the Third Force of the Earth Directorate, and I believe you already know Captain Rogers. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. I think you're mistaken, Princess. I never forget a knuckle. <laughs> Sir, excuse me. Uh, are you familiar with the uh, uh, rock? No. What are you doing? It's called getting down. It's a little before your time. It frightens you. Nothing frightens me. All right, fine. Get down and boogie. It's expressive. It's disgusting. What happens if we come together? We automatically become man and wife. If you spy, I'll have to kill you. That's an example of your best pillow talk. I think I found your problem. That's impossible! is a killer. Check it out, it's hooking the dagger. You're gonna be the most beautiful girl at the club. 
The music of the Bengals. Anna Motion, Devo, Meat Loaf, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Thrashing. Well, what do you thrash? What do you got? You'd like to be held like that? Yeah, I'd love it. It's not a kid's game anymore. They called him King Kung Fu. Listen, that's a circus wagon, isn't it? Don't they have trap doors in the bottom to help clean the cages? All you gotta do is climb up under that wagon and pull the latch on the trap door. That grill will never even see him, much less be able to get at you through the bars. Herman boy! The scoop will be when the gorilla gets loose and goes after her. The gorilla gets loose. We'll just put out an APB on that. APE. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. That's all the cars. The fun-filled film, King Kong <laughs> Fu. <laughs> Peeled me like a banana. I'm asking for gunplay. The mirthful master of the martial arts, King Kung Fu. It's a strike. Long sport, though. Jones goes flying into the air. Smith follows the same routine. This gorilla truly is the monster master of the martial arts. What do we got here? Well, it's just a sissy gorilla, huh? Ah, so. It is hoped that wisdom will come with age. For well, then you will know that fighting in itself does not bring honor. As honor is all there is which separates man from the animal. Now, lady, I'm ordering you to clear out. But don't you believe in supporting your local police? Look, Bo. I have to admit, you do know how to have a good time. Time, Captain. Well, you just pay attention to flying this thing, Pilgrim. What are we going to do now? At last, entertainment for the entire family. Watch for it at your favorite theater soon. The grand opening at Wichita's Crest Theater, May 29th. Maybe I should just try the first line until you're sure that the attitude's right. I think we need to start laying them down. Okay, let's try that. John Cleese, 22, take one. We are paying this respected professional. Any more comments before I start running? To act like a frog. How do I get myself talked into these things? A frog who thinks he's a prince. Voila! They call me your Johannes. Trying to save a swan. Mademoiselle. A swan who's really a princess. Princess and death. And that's just for starters. <laughs> the Swan Princess, featuring the voices of John Cleese. Sure, go on, John Dab. Race to your death. Sandy Duncan. No, it can't be. Jack Palance. Had to be sneaky, didn't you? And Stephen Wright. No, 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 no. In a fresh spin on a classic fairy tale. Derek. A magical musical animated adventure. The 
the Swan Princess. successful beer is advertising! That makes what? sense. You are about to enter the dynamic, high-pressured world of advertising. You're all yes men. Whenever I ask you a question, you're always going to say yes. What good is that? I need men who will tell me what they think. Am I right, Reamer? Yes. You're fired. Get out! Don't look back. Press the down button. Here, creative people team up to exchange brilliant ideas. Ideas that will influence everything, from what we drive... Okay, honey, do your stuff. ...to what we put in our mouths. I don't like it. All right, then picture this, and how about this? Longer cans. I hate it. Smythe, you're the uh, creative director. Uh, you got anything you can uh, throw out at us here? We get a bunch of guys. They work in construction. And after a hard day's work, they reach for some Norbecker beer. They all reach for a beer. Each one gets a beer. Then they hold them up. Hi. You're fired. Get out. Mr. Femer. Yes. Miss Tucker, what does the lady executive have to say? I'm putting together a concept. And now, you're about to experience more drama. I will smash Anakin. And more action than you've ever expected. In a light comedy. When me and my buddies are drinking Norbecker Pilsner, we don't like being disturbed. Norbecker Pilsner. Have one, if you're tough enough. I want macho. What has beer got to do with being a man? <laughs> Alcoholism, divorce, violence in the streets, we're doing great. You pick the right kind of guys for this sort of thing. Me and my buddies, case of Norbecker and... Let nature take its course. Commercial over yet, guy? Most commercials. Come on, fellas. They are disgusting. They are degrading. Or are they? Let's find out. It's a scene. I'm just trying to make a living like everybody else. So come on, guys. Without your Norbeckers. Beer. The funniest movie ever to come out of a bottle. Wanting the love of one man. Rose. You damn well better get this straight. You're not just another little tramp to me. You're something special. Inga, hungering for the arms of her father. You want me? Do something for me. Come, baby, don't be afraid. I'm going to make you sorry. Take it off, you rotten little guy. Take it off. Inga is back in a totally new and shocking story. Inga, seeing everything. Uh, Baba! Inga, experiencing everything. Starring Marie Liliadal in The Seduction of Inga. Inga. Everything you ever wanted in a woman. Great American success story. 
What if she get rid of the bar? Sell it, lose it, dump it. Just get rid of it. All your dump needs is a few go-go girls, and you got a mate. Got it, I got it. Give it to the bar. Wet t-shirts. Wet t-shirts. You're going to sell wet t-shirts. No, no, no. Girls in wet t-shirts. You're going to sell girls in wet t-shirts. No, I'm going to have a contest, a wet t-shirt contest. We wet girls down, we have a contest. So, what do you think? Hot t-shirts. Come on and move your feet. You can't ignore the beat. Dance and dance and dance and that way. The girls have got to be luscious girls. I mean, I mean girls. Water on my body and I'm burning with fire. This disco baby is simmering. Hot t-shirts. Water on my body. It'll knock your socks off. What boys? What a retro. An awesome trailer reel that we just watched. Oh yes. I agree with you. This retro movie trailer reel was so awesome as heck, dudes. Yeah, this trailer reel from the 1970s, 1980s, and the 1990s were so awesome and retro at the same time. These trailers caught my big eyeball. Yep. Agreed. Retro movie trailers, weren't they? Yeah boys, these movie trailers were definitely making my eyeballs wiggle like I'm hypnotized. So retro and awesome. Oh yeah boys, I heard that you guys agreed on the movie trailers. Totally awesome dudes.